so Tommy, taking a little bit of a break from the ghosts, uh, a little bit of departure from the ghosts, and and maybe the scary stuff. I don't even know if we can say the title of our show, and talk about this as well, like. Talking about a chapel. Can we say that's some scary stuff for this episode, I think. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I, I I know that uh, you and I both really into sort of like the various mysteries in New Mexico. And obviously I think one of the mysteries and one of the most miraculous stories uh, is about the Loretto Chapel and the miraculous staircase. I had the opportunity to talk with Richard Lindsley, who's the curator of Loretto Chapel, an expert on it, and he's just amazing to listen to. It's my belief that the architect wanted to put in a circular staircase here in our chapel right from the beginning, but apparently could not find anyone from France to come and help him do that. So he completed the chapel in 1878 without any access to the balcony. So it's, it is kind of interesting, it's like, Cool, cool story. She got this choir lock, but how, how did the sisters get up there? So the sisters said a nine-day prayer called a novena, asking St. Joseph to pray for them to help them with their problem. And on the ninth and last day of their novena, just as they finished their final prayer in this chapel, an elderly man came at the front doors and knocked. So one of the sisters opened and the man told them that he had come to build their staircase but he insisted upon working in this chapel all by himself for three months, never allowing anyone to see him work on the staircase itself. And after three months, he vanished without being paid. And that's, you know, that was kind of the founding mystery of this, like who is this person? But there were also other things, like the wood apparently was so rare and it had never been seen before to the point that it was actually named. It can only grow in really cold temperatures at really high altitudes. The closest relative from what I understand is like all the way in Alaska, but then also how it was built and that there, I believe there were 33 steps to it, which of course relates to the, the number of years of Jesus's life here on earth, but that it also has the same sort of structural engineering of a DNA molecule that it, it can bend where it needs to, but it's also rigid where it needs to. But from what some of the engineers have been able to discern, you could put a 220 pound person on each step of wow. 33 stairs and it would support it. The first mystery is where does the wood come from? Well, I wanted to find out myself. So I gave a core sample of the wood from the inner stringer of the staircase to a US Naval scientist by the name of Forrest Easley. He studied the wood I gave him for 15 long months. And he told me it was the perfect wood for the job. So as a scientist, he had a right to name his discovery. He named it Joseph after the legend of St. Joseph, Easley after himself, his own last name, and Picea, the subspecies that fell into. Joseph Easley, Picea. It doesn't sound like they've ever had to do any major maintenance. I know the only thing they've added since the original design has been the rail. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, if you look at like old pictures or old renderings of it, it's terrifying. Like I, I can't imagine what these sisters, when this was built, obviously very excited to be able to get to the choir loft. The rails were added some years later for safety. It's, it's just phenomenal to me that all the right pieces and all the right time, this carpenter, this wood, answering the prayers of these sisters, that they all line up in just such a way. And I, I know that there was some guy a while back and he was a descendant of the German carpenter and he actually found some old sketches of what looked like a spiral staircase in, in, in this relative's old tool shed and there was a rumor that this guy was actually the one that built it. A uh, Hedwiger I believe was his name. Okay. okay. And he was, a, he was a German carpenter and he worked around the southwest around that time uh -huh. and they were never able to prove anything either way and I know a lot of skeptics would probably sort of go in that direction. If you are a skeptic, no amount of proof in the world will convince you. If you are a believer, no amount of disproof will, will sway you one way or the other. You either believe or you don't. Whatever the details are, you'll find out when you reach the other side. This was still a miraculous staircase because not a single engineer or civil engineer on the planet has been able to explain it. 
And interestingly enough, I think we sent Jordan to check out the staircase and then he just burst into flames. So that's why he's not joining us today. Exactly. That's the thing. He's like, wait a minute, you're, you're doing something in a chapel? He's like, no, I'm 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 scared. Yeah. And we're like, we, we want to have you for future episodes just sit this one out. He's like, he's like one of the vampires in what we do in the shadows. He just starts see like bleeding from his eyes, he steps in there. Well, uh, we will be on to the next one. Yeah, well, I can't wait for the next one and I guess I'll see you down the road, Chad. See you down the road. See you down the road at the rental.